Hi guys, uh, today I'll just give a so, small uh, demonstration regarding uh, solving a uh, uh, mesh equation and applying uh, Kirchhoff current law to find uh, current across this particular resistor element for a simple DC circuit. Now this is actually a simple DC circuit with uh, all these resistor elements uh, labeled as 2 ohms for the simplicity of calculation. I have just considered 2 ohms and these are the two independent voltage sources of 10 volts and 5 volts. Now these voltages are independent just because they don't uh, depend on any other uh, element of the circuit for uh, the their voltage they're always 10 volts this is DC and you have all the resistors here uh, and I have named it as R so that I can consider the given circuit for uh, application of KCL to find the current across the 2 ohms uh, resistor R and um, uh, for the application of KVL uh, mesh analysis so this is the two voltage sources here and uh, I've assumed the currents to flow in the clockwise direction two currents I1 and I2 here um, across these two meshes uh, so they assumed directions as are uh, uh, as this one this current flows through here and this, this is clockwise and this i2 which is again clockwise now if you see the i2 current since both of them are assumed in the clockwise direction only one of them is going to flow in the actual direction when you switch on the circuit uh, this 10 volts is going to make the current flow outwards from the positive direction towards this one but the i2 actually goes in opposite direction as per the assumption so uh, after solving for this uh, mesh analysis for the equations the value for i2 will be negative and we'll see about that later so now when you apply this mesh current equation for these two meshes we have these two equations because now when this i2 i1 consider for the mesh one if you consider this current this i1 flows through this uh, element which is actually 2 ohms so this is 2 times i1 I have left out uh, that without mentioning this is 2 ohms so 2 into i1 plus again this 2 ohms into i1 and uh, this i2 is flowing in the opposite direction so it will create a voltage drop in the opposite direction you have to consider minus 2 into i2 so here it is minus 2 into i2 plus 2 times I1 again so you have to you have considered all these three and you can come back to this voltage source now when this current flows in the clockwise direction it sees the voltage from minus to plus so it is minus 10 volts so summation of all these voltages equals to zero as per the case of voltage law so this equation reduces down to minus 3 I1 minus I2 is equal to 5 this is one equation with two variables for solving equations with two variables you need to have two equations so you apply another mesh analysis in the mesh tool for the current I2 and now this current I2 since we have assumed to flow in the clockwise direction is the same as I1 the voltage drop will be going to this direction which is 2 times i2 minus uh, 2 times i1 now this is the i1 flows in the in the counter direction so when you see in the clockwise direction it flows from top to bottom so it is 2 times minus 2 times i1 as here but this is flowing through the from from bottom to top and according to this current the voltage drop created by i1 is negative so that's why we take minus 2 times i1 this current multiplied by the resistance gives the voltage drop and the i2 current sees it in the opposite direction because according to i2 it creates a voltage drop from bottom to top so it is 2 times i2 and minus 2 times i1 so now you are getting a clearer explanation how the minus sign is assigned for the voltage drop according to this current this is minus this assumes minus sign and the first mass according to this current i1 this i2 across the two ohms creates minus i2 voltage drop so this is depends on which mesh you look into and which current you look into depending on this mesh analysis on this clockwise direction it is 2 i2 minus 2 i2 i1 and again plus this voltage source 2 i1 so totally it is 2 i2 plus 2 i2 minus 2 i1 so this is what plus 5 volts because and the later in the in the initial is in the mesh one circuit when you see here this i1 looks this voltage drop from minus to plus but when you see here this i2 looks at this voltage from plus to minus so it is plus 5 volts is equal to zero and you give it that one you actually adjust for the minus signs and get the simplified equation the most important part in the mesh analysis or any kind of analysis or node analysis is, is the is assigning the signs if you wrongly assign the sign you won't get uh, you won't actually arrive at the values of the current or voltage or, or what else uh, for your solving you won't get the answers if you assign the um, 
science incorrectly so sign assigning the science is very important so i'll give a repeat uh, note on that uh, if you're looking into this mesh it's gonna flow in the clockwise direction so according to this current it is uh, two times i1 two times i2 minus two times uh, i2 here and then again two times i1 and minus 10 volts when you look into this mesh it is two times i2 plus two times again i2 minus two times i1 plus 5 volts because it, when this current looks at this voltage so it is plus and minus so it is plus 5 volts so now you get two uh, simultaneous equations the two variables so you can go here online and type when you have to solve this one to reduce time for solving you can just solve simultaneous equations online you can open this website and you have different different equations like solve 2 by 2 or 3 by 3 in a 3 by 3 or a 4 by 4 it is even bigger you have four equations and four variables you can click that one if now for in our case it is just a 2 by 2 equation so you can just click on uh, this 2 by 2 and you will be directed here here you can enter the variables and get the values see for example this is 3 minus 1 is equal to 5 so the variables is 3 and you have to click this drop down as minus then then 1 is equal to is equal to 5 now it is 5 and the bottom one was here was uh, um, 2 i1 minus 4 i2 the i1 coefficient is 2 here the i1 coefficient was 3 make sure that you type the coefficients correctly in the bottom of 3 you have to type 2 so here when you go there you type here 2 and here it is minus 4 and 5 so it is minus 4 it is minus 4 and it's so it's 4 and then it's 5 never type here so if you want to type minus don't type here as minus you type in the drop down list as minus okay now this 3 minus uh, 1 is equal to 5 2 minus uh, this is the coefficients 2 minus 4 and 5 these are the coefficients entered so you just check it everything is okay the answer should be like this and when you click solve by using uh, elimination method and you solve the system you get uh, the answers uh, for the x and y and our x and y here and i1 and i2 so for i1 and i2 we get the x and y values as uh, x is equal to 3 by 2 and y is equal to minus 1 by 2 so if it were 4 meshes you would get 4 currents and 4 equations for that you have to go uh, to the page here for 4 by 4 equations and enter the coefficient you will get x y z and other uh, values also so 3 by 2 is as good as 1.5 and minus 1 by 2 is minus 0.5 now as I said a while back you will get an answer in minus for i2 because we have considered both the currents to flow in the clockwise direction and this i2 flows against this voltage source and this i1 flows along this voltage source because the plus side actually makes the current to flow uh, outwards from it and then it comes back so the current flow is from positive to negative so the current flow according to this it looks the uh, 10 volt source and flows according to that but when the i2 if the same clockwise is considered for i2 it flows against the plus will try to push it but it flows against so we have considered this clockwise direction the same clockwise direction for i2 that's why we get minus 5 amps so actually the value of i2 is plus 0 0.5 amps now if we were supposed to find the current across this 2 ohms resistor as I said a while back this is i1 a current of 1.5 amps flowing through this one and this is i2 a current of 0 0.5 amps actually flowing through this side because it's plus 5 volt pushing a current outwards and it is flowing through this one if you consider this direction i2 minus 0 0.5 amps will flow through this direction it is uh, as good as to say plus 0 0.5 amps which will flow through this direction and minus 1 and, and 1.5 through this direction so it is 1.5 through here and minus 0 0.5 through here or 0 0.5 through here and 1.5 through here both added it is 2 amps now let's just prove that using node analysis you get to see here you assume the point here as a node n and assume the currents as here it flows towards uh, towards it i1 it actually flows towards it i1 current will flow towards it i2 will also flow towards it and you will have a summation of both of them as ir resultant value which will go through this and our aim was to find the current through this uh, element resistor element 2 ohms resistor element r 
No by simple analysis, it is just 1.5 amps plus 0.5 amps is 2 amps. But when you look into the node analysis and apply, you will get the same answer when you assume the incoming currents as positive and outgoing currents as negative. Now the incoming currents are I1 and I2 and the outgoing currents is IR which is negative. So when you apply it, according to Kirchhoff of current law, the summation of currents at one particular node is 0. So it is I1 plus I2 minus IR is equal to 0 because IR is flowing outwards and as per our assumption the outgoing currents are assigned with a negative sign now this is as good as IR is equal to I1 plus I2 and as per our solution I1 is 1.5 amps and I2 in this direction it is 0.5 amps minus but actual value is in this direction 0.5 amps plus so here the addition is 2 amps so this is how the KCL is proved here so for next simpler circuits, I'll be uploading other videos regarding the circuit uh, reduction uh, techniques of uh, the series and parallel addition. For that, stay tuned. Until next time, goodbye.